Toy Poloi, a shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a toy restorer who does not exist. Toy Poloi, a young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the broken, the helpless, the powerless, in a world of collectors who operate above the law. Welcome to Toy Poloi. No Legos were harmed in the making of this video. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how to make a new cockpit glass for this vintage Star Wars X-Wing. Now this X-Wing has been in my to-do pile for a very long time. I had the main sort of body section of an electronic white X-Wing, which had broken wings. And I also had some spare wings. So recently I've taken those and sort of cleaned them up and made them into what now looks like quite a nice X-Wing, but it is missing one very important part. And that is the cockpit glass. And that is a part that I'm really struggling to find. Every time I see one on eBay, the prices are just go astronomical. And if you try and uh, buy them off some of the forums, the people there again charge sort of crazy prices. And I'm just not willing to pay that for such a tiny piece of a vehicle. So I thought it would actually be a good idea to work out how to make them. But the first thing I need to do was obviously to get this X-Wing in the state that it looks like now. <laughs> And here is the X-Wing that I've ended up with. The body was the electronic version, which was the last one that I needed to add to my collection. So you've got uh, a set of batteries in the back of it with a little motor and you press that button and it makes an awful noise, just a sort of grinding noise. And the little LED at the front lights up. And this was just the last one that I needed. I've got the gray version of this and I've got the white UK version, which doesn't have any of the electronics in it. I decided to leave a couple of the stickers as original because they were still in a relatively good condition. You can see this one's a little bit worn. All the rest though had come off. So I've replaced those. If you want to make replacement stickers for your own X-Wing, then I now have a file available which has these original sort of uh, patterns on them. You can get that from toyploy.com for free. But really what you came to this video for was to see how to make a new cockpit for uh, the X-Wing. So let's get straight on to that. Here I have the two different types of cockpit glass for the X-Wing. We have the uh, sort of one that I see more often, which is the clear plastic one. I think most of the UK issues came with this clear plastic cockpit glass. And then we have the sort of slightly more tinted version, which came on the gray version of the X-Wing, which I think is sort of more the US, because uh, I certainly don't see that particularly often here in the UK. And uh, what we're going to make today is this clear version, although uh, actually the way I make it, you can make either uh, easy enough. So this uh, was the one that I've used as the base for my sort of designs and I've uh, taken this into Photoshop and done a whole load of measurements uh, to work out exactly how big all of these panels are and I've created 
this pattern and we're going to be using that uh, to work from. Now this you can get for free from toyploy.com you just need to print it out onto an A4 sheet of paper at 100%. If we take this uh, cockpit glass I can lay it over the top and you can see that it matches these dimensions perfectly and that's exactly what we need. So uh, we can now sort of put this to one side because we no longer need to use it. We are just going to use this diagram as uh, the basis for the construction of the new cockpit glass. And for that we are going to need some plastic. So you can see here I have some clear plastic. This is actually polycarbonate sheet. You can buy this off eBay very cheaply. Uh, an A4 sheet of this costs I think about £2.80 something like that. And it's got a little bit of flex to it and it's the right sort of stuff to use. You can see here this original cockpit has a little bit of flex. Now this is two millimetres thick, slightly thicker than the original uh, plastic used. I think this plastic is probably about 1.5 millimetres. I bought two millimetres just because it's a lot easier to work with and what we've got to do is sort of glue along the edges. So having that slight bit of extra thickness there really does help. So I have a sheet of this, in fact I've got quite a lot of it because I've been using it for other projects and we're now going to transfer this onto here and cut it out. So let's get a few of these pieces cut out and then we can construct the new cockpit glass. What I've done here is I've taken that piece of polycarbonate sheet and I've just loosely stuck it over the top of this diagram and now I'm going to trace through using a metal ruler and a scalpel or a knife here and just score exactly on the lines. Now we want to go really quite as neat as we possibly can, get everything scored very neatly and then once it's scored, make sure it sort of scores fairly deeply, you can sort of just bend the uh, polycarbonate sheet and it will snap along where you have scored. We're going to do this for all these four pieces. So I'm starting off doing the main panel, then I'll do the two side panels and this small little bit uh, that goes at the back which is where the sort of hinge is attached. We'll get all of those uh, cut out and then we can start sort of uh, fine tuning that and putting it together. But the first thing to do is score very neatly along these lines and cut out each of these pieces. I'm actually going to be making a couple of these cockpit glasses so I'm going to end up scoring a few more just to make sure I've got enough to work with and just go slowly and make sure everything is cut as neatly as you possibly can. You want lovely sharp edges and especially where you've got these triangles that go down to a quite a sharp point you want to try and keep that point as sharp as you possibly can so just be very neat when you do this. So I've now got the four parts cut out. I would say when you're doing this be prepared to be a little bit frustrated sometimes. Cutting big pieces like this is actually very easy but when you come to cutting bits with sharp points like that it really gets a little bit awkward there because the plastic just doesn't want to snap neatly so you will have to sort of fiddle about with a knife and don't worry if it's not too perfect. You can see here the end is a little bit sort of bent. You can actually sort of fix that when we come to put everything together but as long as you get it as sharp as you possibly can that will be fine. It is a little bit frustrating. I do sort of uh, know that as a, when I've been making these sort of prototypes it can get a little bit annoying but it can be done. So we have the four pieces here and this is the basis now for the uh, new cockpit glass. You can see that if we put, start to put these together it will look much like the original cockpit. We do need to make a few little modifications here. You can see that these have got very sort of hard edges and actually what we want to do is sort of taper the bottom edge of this sort of main cockpit section so that it's got a little bit of a sort of uh, angle to it really down there. So I'm going to cut that off and then file it down just using a small file. We also want to add a little sort of edge to the underside here, a little sort of taper there and also to uh, this edge on the uh, sort of side panel. We want to taper that in a bit because when we come to glue these 
it needs to sit at a slight angle like that. And if we've uh, got two flat surfaces, obviously it wants to sort of sit like that, but we want it to sit with a slight angle out to the side. So I'm just gonna carefully trim off these edges, sand down that front there as well. So that's got a nice sort of uh, wedge shape to it. And then we can start gluing these pieces together. So let's get that done. Uh, easiest thing to do, again, get a knife. And on this side, we can trim it off, so just trim the sort of large part of it off, and then we'll use a small file just to file it down. But to start with, I'm just gonna trim this away with a knife. So you can see now I've got a slight taper just on the bottom edge of that cockpit glass, just so that when it sits on the front of the X-Wing, it doesn't sort of stand out too proud. I think that's uh, about enough. And likewise, there's a little bit of a taper just on this edge here and on this edge here. So when we stick these together, it will sit with a little bit of an angle. I've also done this little end tab because when we attach that to the cockpit glass, it needs to sit at a slight angle so that it can sit into the little indent just behind the uh, pilot seat there. Now though, we can start sticking this all together and we're gonna be using some plastic weld and a brush to uh, brush it all on. This plastic dissolves a little bit with plastic weld. So you only need to put a small amount on and it will slowly dissolve it and we can stick this together. Uh, and it's fairly forgiving as well. I've used this before on sort of some other uh, plastics and it, it tends to leave a few marks, but actually on this one, it's not too bad. It doesn't leave too much of a, a sort of mark on the plastic. So once we've stuck this all together, it should look quite nice. So uh, let's get gluing. So we just put a small amount of plastic weld on this edge here just to start to get it getting a bit sort of soft and a bit sticky. And we can apply it to this edge and hopefully it will stick a little bit. We just want it to sort of mildly bond at this stage. Like so. I can turn it over. And now we can start to put a proper amount on. We we'll run it along that edge. I can already feel that starting to work. And we'll run it along this edge again. That's pretty good. So I'm just going to put the lid back on that. And I'm going to bring the X-Wing in. And I'm going to use this to shape it and make sure that I get it the right sort of angle. Which I think that just about is. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. So we'll just let that go off for a minute or so, just so it, it starts to harden. You can see that's already pretty firm, but give it a minute or so and that will harden. And then we'll stick the other side on, do exactly the same process. And then before we put the hinge piece on, we can just do a little bit of fine tuning, sand down some of these edges and round off some of the corners just to make it look a bit neater. But you can see immediately that's already starting to work. That's starting to look like a cockpit. So we'll just let that dry and we'll stick the other edge on. So same process again. We'll put some plastic weld along one edge. And we're going to hold that down. It's at this stage I like to do a little bit of fine tuning. So you can see we've got the basic shape of the cockpit glass and it's already gone quite firm. But if you look at the originals, they've got sort of rounded edges on these corners. These are all a little bit rounded. These edges aren't sharp. So what I'm gonna do now is sort of 
carefully do a little bit of sort of fine tuning on this. I'm going to sand down these hard edges. The uh, corners here we can just trim off a bit using a knife and then uh, again we'll use a sort of a bit of filing just to sort of sand that down and sort of make it a little bit rounder but just generally do a little bit of tidying up before we fit the next pieces on. It just seems to be easier rather than doing it when it's all sort of together. We do it in little stages and we'll get something that works a lot nicer. But already this is looking quite like an, a, a cockpit glass, so uh, it's working very well. So just do the, the bits there. And then this is a uh, nail file, so something you'd actually file your nails with. Works really well just for sort of softening the edges. I'm just going to do a little bit of work on this and then we'll glue the hinge area on. Now we can attach the little hinge tab. This needs to be stuck exactly in the middle, but it's also got to be at a slight angle when you're looking at it from the side, which is why I've uh, tapered that edge there. Again, we're just going to be using plastic weld, so we'll put a little amount of plastic weld on the edge here. We'll sort of position it up, get it so it's sort of roughly right, and then we'll add a little bit more plastic weld just to make sure that it's melted and stuck quite nicely. You probably could do this all in one piece and use a hot air gun to melt and bend the plastic, but I've just found that doing it like this gives you a nice sharp edge, uh, and that's really what I'm going for. You want everything to be sort of nice and sharp. And I think a hot air gun may give you a slight sort of curve to this part, and we want it to be sort of really quite sharp. As you can see though, sometimes plastic weld doesn't particularly work uh, when you're doing it like this, so just keep going at it. Make sure you put a lot on this edge. It will start to soften and then all of a sudden it will stick. It's just a bit of patience. Right, so there you go, that has stuck. I'm actually going to just move that out of the way and bring in the X-Wing just to make sure that that is lined up nicely. So you can just make sure it's all in the right position. That is looking good, so I'm going to now stick that properly. So bring the plastic weld back in, put a little bit more around. Now you can see the cockpit glass is really starting to take shape. This is the original ones here on the left, and these are the two that I've made out of the polycarbonate. It's starting to look the part, and actually if we just put it onto the X-Wing, you can see that that already looks really quite nice. It's a really nice clear glass compared with some of these old ones that have sort of faded and gone a bit yellow, but this you can see is really very clear. The final thing we need to do is add the hinge mechanism. You can see here on an original, we've got these two little prongs that stick out either side, uh, and that is what we're going to sort of recreate now. To do that, I've actually just had a rummage in my sort of parts box and to see what I've got. And I've got these, which are cocktail stirrers, which I bought for another Star Wars project, which I'll put a link to in the description, which was making stands for a vintage Probot. And I use these to make a little stand that the Probot sat on top of. So I've got quite a few of them. I think I bought them off eBay. They were certainly very cheap. And I'm just going to cut off a small piece of this and sand it down to uh, sort of about the right diameter. This is slightly too thick to fit in the hole uh, of the hinge. You can see it just about goes in, but it just needs to be sanded down a little bit more. So I'm going to use that, but actually you could use uh, pretty much anything. Buy a Perspex rod or some polycarbonate rod, and as long as it's the right diameter, it will do the job. And the diameter is, I'm just going to measure this quickly, it looks like just about three millimeters. So if you've got a three millimeter Perspex rod, that would do the job. But uh, as I happen to have these, this is what I'm going to use. There you go. That's what I've made. It really is just that rod sanded down to be a little bit sort of thinner on the diameter because uh, slightly too thick. And I've tapered the edges slightly so that it does actually fit in the hole. Uh, what I'm going to do now is actually attach this to my cockpit. We'll let it dry and I'll make a few final modifications once it's sort of all firm and set because I think it's going to be a little bit tricky to get it to work just perfectly. So uh, if we get it glued in place, then we can make some adjustments once it's sort of done. But uh, that is the basis of what I'm going to do. So again, get the plastic weld out. I know that these um, uh, stirrer rods are made out of uh, polystyrene, uh, so it should be uh, very easy to glue. Again, it will work nicely with plastic weld. So I'll just put a liberal amount on here, like so. And we will stick this in place. 
it's about halfway it's very hard to know exactly uh, they all seem to be slightly different so I'm just going to stick this on roughly and I can hold this up to my x-wing and make sure that it lines up with the hole which I think that does pretty much and then we'll put a bit more of the plastic weld on and we'll let this set and come back to it in a couple of hours And here is the finished result. I've left it for a few hours just to let everything sort of dry and firm up completely. We can now slot this in. You can see that slots in quite nicely. It really does look the part. It looks like an original cockpit glass and you can open it as well and it stays in place. So I'm very pleased with uh, how that has ended up. It's a fair amount of work as I showed but the results really are worth it and this is certainly not going to sort of stand out if people were to see this X-Wing and they wouldn't sort of immediately notice that that cockpit glass wasn't an original uh, cockpit glass. I think that works particularly well. And as this is a nice new sheet of polycarbonate plastic, it's really clear. It doesn't uh, have any of this, the yellowing that some of the originals have now. So it looks almost brand new. You'll notice on my canopy that I've not added either of these two little tabs that are at the front of the cockpit glass. They're there on the original to stop it moving left and right. You'll see on mine that it actually seems to sort of fit relatively snugly. I didn't want to add sort of two little bits of plastic to uh, sort of frost up the glass in those corners. I thought it would uh, Make it look a little bit sort of messier but certainly if you want to add them to your own it would be very easy to cut two little pieces of the polycarbonate and glue them in place but for mine I'm going to leave it without those. The great thing about this uh, polycarbonate sheet that I've used to make this cockpit glass is that you can actually get it in different colours. You can get it in a sort of smoked colour that would match this quite nicely because some of the cockpit glasses as you see are different shades. The ones we got in the UK were generally this clear plastic one uh, but in the US a lot of them came with this sort of more smoky plastic. So if you want to make a smoked plastic version you just need to buy a sheet of the uh, smoked polycarbonate sheet to do it. The only thing that uh, I'm not sure if you can get is a smoked version of a, a rod like that so you might end up with a rod that's slightly their different colour but I don't think that would notice by the time you've got everything else in this sort of colour. I know from previous videos that people like to see the stages I go through uh, when I'm trying to work out how to make something and here are the four cockpit glasses that I've made uh, sort of since starting this project. This was my very first attempt where I was sort of learning what would work and you can see here that I've not managed to cut some of the pieces exactly right but I was really using this one to gauge the sizes of pieces that I needed and how I was going to cut them and once I'd made that one that's when I started sort of drawing up my pattern and from that pattern this was the very first one that I made so you can see it's a great improvement on that everything is now cut nice and sharply and I've managed to get everything sort of almost right the only thing I got wrong on this one was that the uh, little bar here that fixes into the x-wing I'd cut too short so that's it's a, it's a good attempt but it wasn't quite perfect and then these are the two that I've now made during this video and as you can see these are much better every part of them is made properly I actually got a new sheet of polycarbonate as well so it's a nice clear sheet the bits I was using here were some off cuts I had so it's just the sort of scraps that I had lying around and that's really the process I go through when I uh, sort of work on a project like this. I do a couple of test ones that uh, are me trying to sort of fine tune the process and then the final ones end up working a lot better. So I'd say when you come to have a go at making your own cockpit glass you'll find the first one probably ends up a bit like this. It's not going to be quite perfect. It still does the job but it's got a sort of few rough edges. By the time you've made a couple of them you sort of learn the process and you can end up with something that looks really very nice so uh, just give it a few goes and you'll get something that does work. And there we go that's it for this restoration. I've managed to make a very reasonable looking uh, cockpit glass here to fix up this X-Wing and it's now ready to go on display here with my original uh, Palatoy version that I have here. It was the last one that I needed I wanted to get one of each so I've got an electronic white one I've got an electronic grey one which is not in this shot and I've got this original Palatoy white one so it's uh, nice to have the full set of them for display. As I said this uh, process it takes a little while to sort of fine tune it but it certainly is something that is possible to do and I see so many of these X-Wings out there that don't have a cockpit glass and the prices that people are charging uh, to get them now it is just crazy so I think uh, if you want to make an X-Wing look really quite decent and displayable have a go at making your own. The polycarbonate sheets really doesn't cost that much it's about uh, under three pounds for a sheet of this and you can make I would say six or seven from one sheet easily maybe 
more if you were sort of uh, cut very neatly. So it really is uh, worth having a go at making one and uh, you can get a good result like this with a bit of patience. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have then make sure to hit the subscribe button and tap the bell to be notified each time I upload a new video. And if you want to get the files to uh, help make your own cockpit glass and these stickers to go on the side of these uh, vehicles then do check out toyploy.com and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram.